Welcome back to Tools and Techniques with Johnstone Supply, the Boston Group. I'm David Darling, I'm your Technical Service Advisor here, and today we'll be going over flaring your line set to install onto your mini splits and or AC system. So today we'll be using a half inch line set. You will need to cut that line set with your copper cutting tool. You will then need to ream your line set. And then finally, we will flare it and then you'll be ready to install. All right, so the first step here is we need to take your cutting tool and start cutting away on this copper. Once you have it all set up and lined up to the right length, you're gonna have to get a nice clean cut. Now, it's important while you're using your copper cutter to, while you're tightening it and going around it, that you do not tighten in the same spot every time you tighten. If you do that, you'll end up with a flat spot. After you've cut your copper, there's these delightful burrs right there that we need to get off in order for your flare to sit properly. So in order to remove the burrs, you need to use this reamer that has these three little points in there. There are other reaming tools, but all you do is you twist it and you gotta make sure that your line set is pointing downwards so that the gravity will allow the, all of the shavings to fall out instead of fall in. Now that you have it reamed and cut, you need to go ahead and get your flare fitting on there. If you don't do that, you're gonna have to cut it and ream it again. Okay, so this is our flaring tool and I'm using half inch, so I have it set for half inch. I'm gonna take my line set and push it right to this guard that's back there in order to have the correct depth for my flare. So you get your line set in. Go right to that guard, clamp it down, tighten this down, and then we'll just spin. Once you've gotten it nice and tight, got to back it out. Loosen it up. And now the flare is finished. So now that our flare is completed. The last thing to do is to check that we haven't made too large of a flare for the, for the flare itself. Pull it forward and then look in the bottom and you should not see the copper passing the beveled edge of the brass. If you follow these processes of cutting, reaming, getting your flare fitting on there, and then flaring, that will ensure that you are less likely to have to go back to a job due to a sprung leak from your flare. Johnstone Supply, the Boston Group, is your partner in HVACR. If you have any more tools or techniques you'd like us to go over, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.